and I got six of them. That's what, 30, 60, 90? 30, 37, 38. <laughs> brothers and sisters ate so much love for my brothers and sisters defended the traits passed down from my ancestors hey y'all hey it's your girl tay y'all <laughs> it's day two of the vlog okay and i know y'all probably like tay y'all i done been to the gym and everything i'm going to try to start recording when i get up but y'all i get up really early probably earlier than a lot of people um so i just be on the road when i get up Plus, I don't just get up and go. I have certain things that I do before I start my day. And I don't think I want to pick up a camera for that. But, but, but. I <laughs> try to get better at uh, grabbing my camera after that. I'm not going to hold y'all, y'all. I'm vlogging on my phone if I didn't say that already. Because my camera might act funny. And I don't like that. Because that camera costs too much. Anyway. <laughs> Let me go take a shower, wash my braids. Y'all, these braids are old. What? It almost got a bush. Wash my braids. I'm going to oil them. And then probably edit yesterday's vlog. Girl, y'all girl trying to be a vlogger? Okay. <laughs> Let me take a shower. Let me edit the vlog. And see what else I'm going to record for y'all today. So it's vlogging day two and day two of the fast. And when I come back. Am I going to do it when I come back? I'm going to do it when I come back. And I'm going to tell y'all how fasting has been so far. It's day two. And the devil thought he had me. I'll be back y'all. Okay y'all. So I have my lunch. I've moisturized my head like I said I was going to do. And now we are editing yesterday's vlog. So I just had an epiphany about my um, beauty room organizer. That's what we're going to call it for now. I'm about to see if I can make it work. Okay. So I got this contact paper from the Dollar Tree. And I think I'm going to add a little razzle dazzle. Let me see what I can do real quick. <laughs> Y'all, I think I counted between 32 and 34 press-on toenails. I got five of these sets. Why I did it, I don't know. They probably were like on sale really cheap. Now, don't mind the stains on the computer desk. And they are stains. It's not dirt or anything. Um, this was my Stink Stinks computer desk. We upgraded and so I'm going to repurpose this one because I do like the design and I think it's sturdy. Plus, a penny saved is a penny earned. I wanted to build my own vanity, so I feel like I got the base part of it. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. I was sorting all the nails out because I'm hoping that they can all fit in here. I don't know. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments if y'all think all 30-something of these nails could fit in that box. Let me show you the box one more time. One more time for the one time. <laughs> all right, y'all. See y'all in the next clip. Hey y'all, so technically, yes, they all can physically fit in here. It just looks ugly. Basically, I can do a straight line on one side, and then I have to bunch them in sideways to fill up the rest. I'm going to find a reason to use this container because it was too cute for me not to have and use. But I don't know if y'all remember this. This is one of the containers and nails that I showed you. Basically, they're stackable. So it comes with three of these and these little uh, clips here. Lock the pieces in place. So you stack them. Or you have the option to use two of these and then add this sectional here. So I'm going to repurpose this sectional probably for something with my makeup since I have so many of them. But yeah, y'all, I decided to just repurpose these. I don't care for the aesthetics, but it'll work because the 30 some packs of nails look much better in here than they did when they were crammed in here. So that's where we at so far, uh, <laughs> y'all. Like I said, I have to keep messing up this room to clean it up. So I pulled out all my boxes of nails and I'm just going to show y'all the damage. Y'all, I literally have to film this sideways. All of these nails. And believe it or not, some of them are stacks 
of nails. They stacked like this one right here. Y'all see the one with the black and it looks like a white or a pink, this box, that one. There's like one, two, three of those. And then if you look at the black one under it, there's three of those. And then over here, this one has like five or six. And then this one up here has three, six, seven. So I don't understand why I bought so many multiples. That's another one that has multiples right there. This is another one that has multiples. This has multiples. This one has multiples. This one has multiples. What else? This one has multiples. That one has multiples. That other one over here, the other black one, that has multiples. If you look up there, this one in the corner, multiples. All of these up top, I think, with the exception of those three, are multiples. Y'all, before y'all get on my head. So, majority of these nails are a combo of Tamu, TikTok, and Amazon. With the Tamu nails, I don't know if y'all have ever placed an order with them, but like your first one or two orders, they give you an insane discount. So, I got a lot of these nails for like 50 cent, 80 cent, and I had I was getting ready to retire. And y'all know I, I couldn't have my nails a certain way in the military. They're even gotten a little more lax now. They weren't even this lax when I still was in. But anyway, I had to be very restrictive on nails. So, <laughs> baby, when I saw I could get 50 cent nails, 80 cent nails, a dollar nails, I think I went crazy. So, I don't want y'all to think I spent a ridiculous amount on all these nails. Altogether, I may have spent $50. Now, these came from Dollar Tree. Those came from, uh, I don't know if y'all know about, what is it, uh, BT Art Box. They are becoming very popular. Those are really good nails. I'm not even going to hold you. Uh, so, yeah, Dollar Tree probably got these from some drugstore. Now, these are like an accumulation of nails I bought over the years. I did not buy all these at one time. Like I said, I got these from Dollar Tree. Uh, those are like French tip for you to put acrylics over. These are the nails I threw in the trash. All of these are like little ones I got from Amazon for like eight bucks, seven bucks. But again, I got these years ago. If not a decade, probably almost a decade ago. They still good though. So y'all, I have to find a place to put all of these. I don't know if I'm in the vlog showing them put up. Because I have already been in here over an hour just sorting nails. And I'm tired, honey. I'm tired and my feet hurt. So <laughs> let's see where the next clip of this vlog takes us. Because right now, it's not giving very mindful, very cutesy, very demure. <laughs> Okay, so those of y'all who are not new to this channel, you know that your girl is a trained instructor and I try to make as many teachable moments possible as possible. <laughs> so with that, the word demure has been trending on TikTok and the saying is very mindful, very cutesy, very demure. And as the, we're going to try to keep this cute, we're going to try to keep it demure as the not so happy people tend to do when they see a lot of random people out connecting and having fun off of a particular topic there's a certain level of required condescension that they think they need to exhibit and the implication is we don't understand what the definition of demure means yes we do and we are very much using it in context the definition is reserved, modest, and shy, typically used of a woman, a demure young lady. When we use the word demure, even when we're trying to use it as an oxymoron because we're trying to be funny, it's the implication that you're basically like a classy lady. So you'd be like, see how you acted up and I didn't cuss you out? Instead, I sat down and talked to you very calmly, very cutesy, very mindful, very demure. I don't understand how y'all think that's not in context. But anywho, if anybody was wondering what the definition was, here you go. Love you, Boogie. <laughs> All right, y'all. So here is the finished product. I thought I was going to run out of these, but I found the last one like tw at the last minute. <laughs> but y'all, so these are the toenails I showed y'all earlier. If this is this full and it has 30 something in there, that means there's probably at least 30 something in these boxes. And as you can see, there are different variations because I went through and found every nail box I had that was full of nails and put them together. So I have them labeled toenails. Y'all already know what those are for. My plain Janes, as you can see, the most detailing on those nails are French tips. The rest of them is just like all white, all black all red like not even red all burgundy my neutral nails the safe nails then i got my shorties where they're cute and they have designs 
Oh, excuse me. They're cute. They have designs. They're just short. These are my short nails. This is my first tray of medium. I consider these nails medium length, so the nails that are about this long. Um, but this is my first tray of medium nails. And then my second tray of medium nails. And then my claws. I put long nails. I might take that off and put claws. I love my claws, y'all. When I'm feeling like being a problem, I put on the claws. I'm not going to hold you. These are cute. Mm -hmm. I put on the claws, y'all. Now, these aren't necessarily claws, but they still will be considered grippers because they're pretty long. Do I have another pair of these? No, just this one. Okay. And then I got like these basic matte ones. Those are cute. And then, where are my ones? Oh, look at these. Wow. <laughs> you got these. Those say I'm formal, but I like the party. And then some basic ones, but they're long. So, yeah, y'all. These are my long nails. <sighs> if I had to do some math, I'd probably say I'm close to, if not at 200. Because if this is like 32, 34, and I got six of them, that's what? 30, 60, 90. 30, 37, 38. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 120 150 180 so and that's just me rough guess i probably have about 200 boxes of nails and this is what we still have left to pack up um these are the dollar tree nails i was telling y'all about so some of them are short some of them are medium length um these are the duck bill nails i only have like three boxes of these then my BT Art Box nails. Again, y'all, I love these nails. I really do. Um, I just be looking for a little more pizzazz. Like, y'all see I got red. I like a little razzle-dazzle. You know what I'm saying? I got a little razzle-dazzle. It's all right. <laughs> these are just French tips. So, I have to put acrylic with that. Um, like, very short French tips. Let me show y'all. Yeah. And then, random nails that I bought throughout the years. You see, those are white. Those are kind of clearish these are clear so i'm just gonna put if i can all of these in the same box but baby not tonight <laughs> i am tired my feet hurt i'm tired quarred quarred <laughs> i'm tired <laughs> and i know y'all probably like so did you decorate no i'm tired i had to sort these nails first I don't know what I'm gonna do with that contact paper over there. I also have that like decorative uh, duct tape. I'm gonna see if I can make it do what it do. Just not tonight. Probably gonna close out the vlog in a few minutes. I love y'all though. <laughs> okay, y'all. So it's time to wrap up day two. <laughs> day two of my fasting vlogs. I don't know. What should I call it? Y'all tell me in the comment section. <laughs> But day two of my fasting vlogs, um, as far as the day goes, it was a very busy day. I'm currently doing my electro stimulation. That helps with the pain. Um, okay, y'all, real quick <laughs> before we get back to the message. Um, I know y'all noticed that there's a drastic change in the camera quality. Just so we're clear, I'm recording on the same device. <laughs> I'm just figuring out the settings. So it's probably going to look much higher quality on day three. You know, I'm out here trying to function. I love y'all. So what else? I'm about to drink some clove tea, which I just boiled some water with some cloves in it. I don't even do like honey and stuff like that. I'm the type of person that I can drink tea with nothing added, just the tea. So do with that what you will. Um, I don't know if y'all want to take tea recipes from me because I'm not like, oh, three tablespoons of honey and a squeeze of lemon. I just be raw dog in my tea. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. <laughs> so as far as the fasting goes, um, today was better than yesterday. Today was better than yesterday. Definitely realizing how much more productive I am without as many worldly distractions in my life. Um, what else? Excuse me. Try to get in a better habit of when I have downtime, instead of wanting to get work done, I just want to sit and meditate. I will try to keep y'all posted as much as God will allow me to, because sometimes God be like, zip it. And I just have to be like obedient. But yeah, so day two was better than yesterday. Excuse me, y'all. I'll be taking actual God day and stuff. 
I'll be taking ashwagandha and kava kava because your girl got anxiety and I need to go to sleep, honey. Um, other homeopathic supplements. So when I that's what I mean when I say ashwagandha or kava kava. Again, I don't like taking like sleep pills, and plus my body doesn't process them well. So I try to go for natural things like ashwagandha and kava kava root. So those are some of the things that help me sleep at night. I said, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Cause who am I to think I was gonna close this vlog out without showing love to my top commenter, okay, from the last vlog, Miss Shanika Davis, triple five, hit that deuce, okay? Thank you so much for your comment and, and for watching. Thank you so much for your comment and, and for watching. Thank you so much for your comment and, and for watching. Thank you for the love. Hey, you <laughs> Anyway, y'all, I don't put y'all in my business too much. Too much. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to go to bed, honey. I love y'all to life, and I will see y'all in the next vlog.